Great chatting with you. Amazing, amazing film. Uh, you know, the one question I'm kind of asking everyone is, you know, with so much history, whether it's on stage or the previous film, like, was there anything you wanted to take with you or is there something you wanted to kind of make your own from the script itself? Like, how did you kind of kind of create from there? I mean, I wanted to take all of my life experiences now that, you know, I'm a mother and I'm a wife and I've had a lot more ups and downs in my own personal life. I wanted to bring that to the screen. I also was having an opportunity because this is my first studio film. I've done a lot of independent films and television. This is my first studio film. So getting to show people like, hey, you know, I'm out here. Uh, and this is what I do. This is what I studied for years at Juilliard to do. But to get to do it with this story that means so much to our community, that is such a part of legacy and is one of the top movies of, of cinematic film, you know, the canon, um, I am just like over the moon that I got to be a part of this and be ushered in by Oprah Winfrey. And when it comes to this story, spirit is a word that a lot of people say so much. And your character goes through every rung of the spirit of her spirit, high and low in this too. So what did you do to prepare? Was it by moment or did you kind of look at the long run of who she was? Yeah, man. I I first started with the script, uh, uh, or the excuse me, I started with the book. Um, because I think that is like the Bible, like you need that. And there's so much detail in it of like when they talk about her being an Amazon woman or how they talk about Harpo saying, um, or Celie says to Harpo, uh, he don't want a woman, he want a dog. You know, those little things that you hear other characters say about your character really reflects who you're playing. And so I started there, but then I also, um, left room for my ancestors to come speak to me. My godmother uh, had a few Sophias in my life, Helda Moore, who's passed on, and my grandmother, who's passed on. I listened to them and reflected on stories that they've shared with me in the past. Um, and also, specifically, like, Fannie Lou Hamer um, was a woman who I really feel was a life, uh, a, a, a living um, Sophia. Uh, who was fighting for um, uh, writers votes, black people to vote, um, and had a similar situation with the uh, police going to jail and being beaten and stuff like that. So I spent time um, with her stories. Um, but yeah, and then I stole some from the movie too. I mean, some of the stuff Miss O did was brilliant. Like you still need the fist, you need the walk, you know, those things have to remain. So it was about honoring what came before me and also honoring the choices I know <clears throat> that I feel in my heart would make Sophia who she is. For sure, for sure. Well, before I let you go, I'd be remiss because I have so many kids in my world. Um, can you tell me anything about Dawn and Minecraft by Terrence? Oh, <laughs> I wish I could. I really don't know much. You probably have know more you, than I do. Have they show you anything? Have you seen anything? Any graphics? Anything? Was the graphics are great. I think Jared Hess you're... knows. I think Jared Hess is going to be the guy for the job, though. I think that um, what the world he's really creating is going to be epic. Uh, and I think people should stand behind him and not doubt what he's got going on. Very cool. Well, I absolutely love you and everything you do. This peacemaker Thank in the future you. as well. In Minecraft terms, you're getting your minerals together for something even better. So I'm excited, <laughs> man. It's going to be cool. For sure. Thank you very much. Have all a great right. day. Bye Thank bye. you all.